I hope you'll do the same the next time you see him. He is going to be the next mayor, and I'm not going to be. I'm disappointed, but um, I'm the luckiest man on earth. And you know that, and so do I. To have this many friends, this many people that care about me, willing to work hard and do the things that need to be done to run a good race, and we did. Uh, the demographics caught up with us. Certain people wouldn't give me a chance. Uh, that's the way the life is. I, uh, I've lost bigger lawsuits than this. <laughs> and uh, and you, you, you keep going. You know, you serve. You find a place where you can plug in. If this is not the place for me, then there's another place for me. There's another place for you. This is a wonderful town. Now, I've got to thank some people, okay? But there's no way I can't. Be, and I'm, I don't want to single people out because that wouldn't be fair. Everybody in this room played a role, okay? Everybody in here did something that was special to me and means something to me. Whether it was, uh, and I, should I name names? I don't even know how to start. Maybe I won't. But I'll just say the people that raised the money. It meant so much to me. Thank you all. Everybody that donated. Um, I wish there was a way we could have won this thing. But I really don't know that there was. Um, and it's not like the races where when you, there's win, place, and show. We placed, but that doesn't pay anything. <laughs> but, you know, anyway, I just can't thank y'all enough, everybody that donated money. But here's the thing people donated that's even more, more valuable to me, their time. Time, we can get more money, but we can never get more time. And thank you all, the people that made the calls, that got out on the street corners, that walked in neighborhoods. Everything you did made a difference. Everything you did made a difference. And I don't think we'd do anything differently if we had it to do all over again. I certainly wouldn't. So uh, we got to be proud of what we did. We ran a good campaign. And you know what we did? We ran a civil campaign. And Amen. There were chances we had to take this thing in the wrong direction. And civility matters, okay? Civility matters. And if people want to look at a town where people ran a race on the issues, this is the town. Now, nobody paid attention to the issues, but our time. You know, we can't balance the budget by spending 25 million bucks we don't have, but that's over now, okay? That's all over with. And, uh, and but I'm proud of that. I'm proud that you did that, that we did that as a team, and that made a difference to me. I'm proud of the people that worked so hard. Uh, we made a runoff, and then Guess what? And I've got to say a couple of names here. I'm going to, I'm going to talk to a, about a, just a couple of people. Mary Ann Coleman and Mimi San Pedro. Raise your hand. You're marvelous. You're marvelous. Simon Lee is not here, but uh, I, I'm tempted to do a, a Yoda impression. If Simon Lee and, and uh, Mimi were here, I would say, Judge me by my size, do you? <laughs> Don't judge them by their size. Marvelous marvelous people and then I, is Andrew here or Beth here anyway people that worked so hard in the office and made such a big difference and I, I, I couldn't appreciate their help anymore uh, John Rowland is here who was in charge of our finance John raise your hand again incredible incredible who am I leaving out um, I'm getting to my family in a minute that's when I start crying I'm not going to do that tonight, but I'm going to tell you a couple things. So many people believed in me and stuck their neck out so far for me, knowing that it was a it was a real risk, okay? And I see them in the room. I see one here. I see Kathy. It's the E's. It's the Cappies, the Cappies, and the Tippies. Those are the E's. And my friends who are teachers, I see Kathy Kohler here. I, again, I can't name them. Now let me talk about my family a little bit. I've got, I'm going to start at the youngest. Nuts, uh, <laughs> somebody to hit over the head. I appreciate that, I do indeed. I'm Aaron Tice, but I don't want you there with me. My, the next kid is Sarah Joan uh, Curris. Bimberg. Sarah Joni Macaroni, her mom and daddy's one and only. She's not doing it. She gives me the best advice. She, 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 she fell on target with me, and everything she told me was exactly right. And then there's Madeline, who is, if I look in the mirror, I see her face. And it's, it's so hard to talk to her because she's so right, she understands what she told me was just exactly what a dad wanted to hear. Or needed to hear, maybe, is the better way to put that. And then my wife, Jenny, who's been so supportive. When I got this idea... There she is. Really what I wanted to do. 
And I said, yes, I want to serve. And she said, yes, let's do this. And she, we did. And, and again, that's, what, that's what's important. This is an important rant. I'm going to tell you one last thing. If I'm leaving anybody out, somebody help me here. I see so many people, and I could name every single person in this room who's helped me. <laughs> well, there's Richard, yeah. And there's Dick Carr and Val Carr. Done so much. Everybody has. I just can't thank you enough. Look, I'm going to tell you one more thing, then I'll shut up and let's have another drink. And let's, let's get behind the mayor. It's a better place. That's what I'm all about. I'm, gonna, I'm not going anywhere. I got nowhere else to go. <laughs> so let's love this town. Let's work with the people that, that have, uh, have won this race and ask them to, to let us join them and make this a better place to live. That's what I want to do. I know that's where you are. I wish we could have won. If there's something else I could have done, I would have done it. Honest to Pete. I really wish I could have uh, uh, lived up to whatever standard would have been required to, to be your next mayor. But I, I, I didn't. And I couldn't. Maybe I couldn't. But that's okay. Because I'm not going anywhere. I want to serve. I don't care if I'm reading to kids in elementary schools or helping teachers figure out a way to support education in this town like it needs to be supported. I'll be there for them. So, so that's my speech. And if anybody else wants to uh, use this microphone, you're welcome. But again, from the very depth of my heart, from a guy who, who is, again, the luckiest son of a bitch on this planet, I thank you, thank you, thank you. And we, we, we move on from here.